hello friends in this video we will see some logics of the dates means the logic of finding the last working day of the month the logic of finding the last day of the month finding the two days date yesterday date or one month ago state and so on so let's start i have created this logic let me run this we got today's date which is 24 you can see from here we got yesterday date which is 23 means today's 24 so yesterday it was 23 and one month ago it was 24 november 2022 so let me show you the logic for today's we use this today's function which is available in this date functions under this date functions and for yesterday we just do use this add days means it will add the days in the given date this function is also available in date functions you can see add a number of a date days to a date means we have to give the date and the number of days which we want to add so i have given the date means this two days formula it will return the two days date and the number of days i have given is minus one means it will decrease the one day from the today's date so we are getting the yesterday date we have this tomorrow's so here i have given one so it will add one in the today's date see it will become 25 and here in one month ago i have given minus 30 similarly you can give minus one three minus three six five if you want to get the date of one year ago similarly you can get the date of date after one week you can give seven here now let's move to the next one which is last working day so let's say we have month and year and in this month we have to find the last working day of the month so let me change this to 2024 or 2022 and month will be 12 so last working day will be the last friday of the month in this case we have 30th december so let me run this so we got the day which is 30th means only we will get the day so here in december the 30th will be the last working day and if you want to create a make a date you can use a make date function and give this as day and we already have month and a year so you can create your day so for this i am using the built-in function of the blue prism sorry built-in action which is available under this business object utility date and time manipulation get last working day so here we have to input month and year and in output we will get the working day so you can find the any last working day with this action so in this we will find the last day of the month <coughs> so we have 12th december of 2022 so we want output as 31st december because that will be the last day so let me run the board okay see we got the last date as 31st december and similarly if we go for 2023 and month will be second fab uh, because in fab we have uh, 28 days so let's see what will we get and here we go we got 28 fab 2023 and if we go for a leap year uh, 24 so let's see okay we got 29 sec uh, fab 2024 because it will be a leap year we have month we have year so we are creating a simply date we got this date first of uh, fab 2024 okay so maybe you will get a date instead of month and year as input so no need to make this date now in that date we have to add one month this is the logic we have to add one month now let me run this first we have month year means first fab and when we added the one month we got this first of july first of march 2024 okay 
Now let's open the calendar and see the Fab month. In February we have. Uh, this is for twenty twenty three, but uh, in our process we use twenty twenty four calendar. So when we add one month, we will get the March first of March. So when we subtract subtract one from this first of March, we will get the last day of the February. So this is how we are calculating the last day of the month. Just go to the next month, the first date of next month, and then subtract one. we are using add days function to subtract one from the date and then when we execute this we will get the last day of the february so there can be multiple logics to find the date uh, the last working of that month but i found this is the smallest logic so you can use this in your processes and do let me know if you have any doubt thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.